So we created quite a lot of questions, some of which included multiple choice, check boxes, and short answer. Let's explore the others. So again, I click on add question. Now, if you want to add a question which has a longer answer, so then you add a paragraph. So let's say something from literature. Uh, critically analyze the character of, let's say, Robinson Crusoe. Okay. So this is going to be a longer answer. Again, you can add an answer key. So let's say this is a five points, or let me make it four points to make the total ten. And you say again, you can add an answer feedback by clicking on this. That's it. You click on done. You click on required. Of course, this is a long answer text, so it's difficult uh, to give uh, a detailed answer here. So you click on required. This is easy. Now I'm going to give you a brief on this particular section, which has got a lot of icons. The first icon is what we have used so far. This is used to add a question. The second icon is to import a question. Now, if I click on this, what it shows me are some old forms that you might have created. So let's say I created a quiz earlier for a batch and I want to use the same quiz. Then I can simply use that quiz by importing it here and I can use some of those questions. Then this is for adding a title and description. If you click on this, you can actually just uh, create a, a, a section over here, a small section over here. So let's say this is logical reasoning section. And then you can add a question here. Then this will belong to this particular section. Then here, what you have is, again, as we have already seen, you can add an image using this. You can add a video using this. So let's say the literature people can show a movie clip and then ask the students to write about it, to comment on it. And this will add a new section. So these are some of the other features that this uh, Google quiz form can provide you. So I'm going to delete this and this. So... These are the major uh, features that you're going to use. Another one is drop down in which you get a drop down list. You can explore it yourself. Here you have file upload in which you allow the student to upload an answer file. Let's say uh, we as programming students, uh, as programmers would like our students to upload codes. So then you can use file upload here. And these are again similar options to this but mostly you will be using the first five okay if you want the others you can definitely explore now let's see the upper part so here you can customize a theme here you are able to see what is the current status of the points so you can see that there it has got about 10 points this is for preview now this is a good one. So when you click on preview, you are able to see how the students will be able to see your quiz. So this is the way your quiz looks like. It's a nice mixture of different fields. Now, another important thing are the settings here. So let's go to the settings part. And I would like you to really take notice this carefully. Now I'm going to quizzes. So I am going to repeat. I first moved to settings and then I moved to quizzes. So first it says make this a quiz. Yes, I want to make it a quiz. Here there are two options now. You would like to release the grade immediately after each submission. So that would mean that as soon as the student submits, you want the results to be declared. Or you would like to later on send it after you manually review the options. So as of now, I'm going to select this particular option and this is better left ticked. I'm going to click on save. Now you can see there is an email address tab here. Now in the next video, I'm going to show how we are going to evaluate this quiz.